everybody! Okay, I'm making this video to talk about some interesting learning I've had over the last couple days. So let me try to figure out where I'm going to start here. So I, I was taking a walk today, and as I was walking, I, I do everything I can to not walk on the pathway. I'm really into walking into the woods or into the forest where people don't go. The energy vibration is really harmonious and it's more impactful the healing energy of the trees and nature is more impactful i just feel i just feels really uh, untouched and really balanced in that way so i was walking through the woods which isn't always particularly easy <laughs> and then you might get like uh, attached to some bramble bush and that's never fun but you have to keep, you know look out for these things right I was walking through the woods and I, I was really connecting with nature. So I how do I how do I do this? How do I heal with nature? I actually take my heart portal and then I feel my heart portal expanding out and then touching all the nature around me. And so when I breathe in and the trees are breathing and exhaling and I am inhaling and exhaling, we're doing it all together. We're we're in, in oneness with each other and so I'm purifying with their energy trees love feeding off of negative energy she's trees love purifying you earth loves your negative energy feed the earth your negative energy you're not being a jerk saying mother earth i'm going to give you all of my problems and negative thoughts and and horrible feelings and you're not being a jerk to mother earth she's like oh yes let me purify you gobble 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 i'll eat up all your negative energy please give it to me i will eat it all up and make you feel so happy because your love energy helps me grow and your negative energy helps me grow and I want that food to create more flowers to bring more smiles to your face so Mother Earth is a lot like that so I was walking in the woods and then I kind of stumble across some trail type um, spots where it's a little easier to walk and then I usually get to some sort of fallen tree where I sit down and just think for a while well I was I was on the fallen sort of stump and I was in a state of just peacefulness and relaxation. So this year is really already tuning my energy vibration, raising my energy vibration in different ways. And one way specifically, I made a video where I kind of talk about my diet changing, which is becoming essential. I, I did, I kind of tried to have a chocolate donut the other day and it did not go down well. Like my body is forcing me to live off of berries and nuts. Like why did this happen to me? <laughs> you see what I mean? Anyway, it happens to the best of us. I, I was never going to be a vegetarian or, you know, but it, it just, it's, a, it's important that I keep my vibration high, purified. It makes me a better healer. It, it makes me balanced with the energy of the universe. It's healthy for my body it's better all the way around and now my vibration is rising so high my physical body needs me to be in a state of purification so I have to drink lots more water and eat more positive energy foods so anyway um so where was I <laughs> yeah so I was um sitting on a on a stump and I was thinking and um, I was um, thinking about just the, the way that my life has been turning over the last month. It's been really nutty. It's been really super amped up and happy. And then there was like a stumbly point in like January full moon time. And then now it's really amped up again and happy. And I just feel like I'm through the roof with just feeling really positive and really purifying my reflection. Obviously the diet thing, but there's more to it than that. So... And then the other thing I want to tell you about, this is something that happened recently. I came into an awareness. It's not like I wasn't aware of this. So we all have certain... Um, so anyway, we all have certain versions of wisdom that we are already aware of. We already, maybe you know or don't know, but the illusion of distance and time is something I've been aware of for a very long time. However, stepping into the reality that time and distance is an illusion is a little bit harder. You see, I, I, I share 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or 90 minutes of spiritual healing because I live in a reality where there is the illusion of distance and time. So I'm still working amidst the 
the puppet strings of our illusionary reality where distance and time is real. However, I am ascending, I am choosing to ascend beyond the illusions. How do I ascend beyond the illusions? How come I can't just heal people instantaneously because I do not resonate with the truth that time and distance is real? Obviously, some part of my infinite reflection still resonates with that. Somehow my consciousness still thinks I'm human. I swear to God, I'm not human. <laughs> anyway, I was contemplating... A, rea uh, a new experience of awareness that took place a couple days ago. Basically, I woke up in the middle of the night and I had a very dis uncomfortable energy feeling. And so when you get uncomfortable energy feelings, you don't, they sort of create, it's hard not to notice them because they feel uncomfortable, right? So I just went into a breathing exercise where I go, breathe in the nose, exhale from the mouth, and you just slow it on down, okay? You just slow it on down. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And then within my totality, I identify I am not a body. I do not feel pain. I do not feel fear. I am not a body. I am an infinite soul. I am an infinite light. I am beyond the perception of pain and suffering. I am beyond the perception of negativity. I am beyond the perception of the illusion that I have a body. As I was saying these things, I'm telling you, it it was like my our consciousness is going, it is raising its vibration beyond the constructs of a reality where we feel imprisoned by the a sort of truth is that, for instance, you plant a seed, it takes 100 years to get a super big tree. You can't just plant a seed and bam, overnight, it's not like Jack and the Beanstalk, bam, it's already in the clouds. We have some constructs of that create the physical truths of our reality. But there's something of the vibration rising that is allowing our consciousness to go into a state where we are able to detach from illusions of time and distance. That instantly purified whatever that negative energy vibration was. It instantly shrunk and went away instantaneously because I choose to come into the, the truth. I am not a body. I am infinite. My consciousness is beyond human. I am an infinite soul. I am an infinite light. I am not a body. The more I said it, it was like, I was getting like higher and higher and higher in vibration and I it was addictive. It was even addictive. Say it with me. Just say it with me. I want you to feel this. I want you to experience this. So let's say this together. I am not a body. I am an infinite soul of light and love and purification and health. Thing is, is health is part of the illusion of sickness. Health is part of the illusion of a body. So we can't say health, dang it. Let's try this again. I am not a body. I am an infinite soul of light and love. I am not a body. I cannot be harmed. I am an infinite soul of light and love. We're going up the awesome ladder of vibrational frequency. <laughs> so as I was on this stump, right? <laughs> uh, I was contemplating these things in the super happy way that I've been feeling lately. It's like just been just a super joy, you know? It's like two thumbs up. Siskel and Ebert says yes. <laughs> and so I was focusing on things that I used to do when I was a teenager. I used to feel like I had the power to just use my consciousness to do to choose and therefore it just does. So how come I can't levitate this plant over there? How come I can't just flip my light switch on and off? How come I can't just open the door without using my hands? I would practice this and I would get very frustrated because I was quite certain that I should be able to manifest things just by choice alone. But eventually choice alone doesn't seem to work in the constructs of my reality and therefore now I must just accept. <laughs> so you live with acceptance, right? But I'm starting to feel convinced that the constructs of our reality, the fabric that creates truth here, is changing. And so the illusionary world we live in is starting to evaporate. And now we are starting to ascend into 
a spiritual plane. Uh, it, this is a spiritual plane. Third dimension is a spiritual plane. Second dimension, first dimension, all dimensions are spiritual planes. They just have a different level of perception, different levels of illusion and and feelings of bound being bound to illusion, basically. And so as I was sitting here, I I explored levit trying to levitate things <laughs> like rocks and, and leaves and stuff. It didn't work, but I did give it my all. And it was amazing. I'm telling you, I had an incredible experience doing this. It was again, I am not a body. I am an infinite soul of light. I am not a body. The perception is we're a body and we're stuck and we're human beings and we don't have any control. The truth is we're not a body. We're infinite souls. We have infinite power. We can do whatever we want. We can fly, we can remote view, we can travel dimensions, we can, you know, instantly heal people, we can turn water into light, make it rain, grow plants instantaneously, we can do whatever we want. It's a conscious thinking uh, reality. Consciousness choosing reality. It's a spirit driven reality. I'm convinced that we are moving into this. I'm not crazy, I swear. So anyway, we have to start choosing to continue to explore these things because the energy is feeling really awesome right now and I'm not the only one noticing it. Maybe life is still show showing up with some shoveling problems that you're trying to acrobat your way through. But something in the energy feels on the happier side. It feels on the more positive, sunnier side of things. And so, okay, there's more to this story. I swear to God, I will get to the more to the story. Um, so I was just smiling at myself and I, I just felt just cheerful, right? Couldn't make the rocks move, couldn't, you know, it's, it's okay. So I stood up and I made a choice. I talked about this in one of the videos about the power of love and, and projecting your love into everybody around you and into your food and into everything. So as I stood up, I chose to continue to work on this. And I chose to open my heart, so feel love in my heart, okay? Heart portal, right there. Feel love in your heart portal in the center of your chest. Feel love in your heart portal. And now, like there's an invisible hand coming out of your heart and touching everything around you, now you have infinite numbers of, of fine fingers touching everything. The trees, the plants, the, you know, the soils, the leaves, the, you know, barbed wire plants that you never like snagging on. <laughs> everything. The insects, the everything. The clouds, the air particles. You start feeling everything and then you start projecting love into everything. So I would just start looking. I would just look, 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 look. And just just choose to to connect and, and see everything that had its own heartbeat and share and visualize the heartbeat of everything was glowing with red loving light. And that glow was my heart connecting with the heart of that thing. And so this tree, this tree, this tree, this leaf, this leaf, that leaf, this whole pile of leaves, the entire ground, all the soils, all the air, all the clouds, heartbeats, 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 so many heartbeats and so much energy and so much love. And I just started, it was like I was, um, I don't know, you've seen those, um, it's like a ball and in the center and then it gets all these electrical fingers. I was like that. I was like an electrical fingers touching everything and it was just instant electrical love touching everything. It felt awesome. So I continued to walk, okay? And then I sat down by a really old tree that I really like sitting by. I have a real connection with this tree and I just relaxed in harmony and I did something I never do outdoors which is, this is going to sound dumb but I, I never do yoga outside I just don't stretch outside <laughs> and I did I did today I did I did yoga in public in nature but it wasn't totally in public because it was kind of off away from the public <laughs> And so I did, I did some amazing stretching and um, I did the, I sat against the tree, okay? And then I did like the butterfly sit with your like feet kind of, you know, kind of together, like the butterfly sit and then you can like butterfly your legs up and down if you want to. So I was sitting like this and I was sitting, you know, kind of relaxed against the tree because my awesome posture just isn't that awesome. And so I'm just, I don't, I can't sit up straight forever. I'm not like a master yogi or anything. And so I just sat against the tree and oh my gosh, it was like everything was breathing in and out of me from below me and above me and all these different directions. And I was just feeling so incredible in the heart portal energy and just this incredible positive love energy. It was amazing. <clears throat> so again, I am not a body. I am an infinite soul of love and light. 
I am in oneness with all things. I love and am connected with all frequencies of love. I generate all frequencies of love from my heart portal. And I experience all frequencies of love in balance with me. I am love. And I just keep going up the vibrational frequency of truth. The illusion is anything that isn't this. So I just stay within the realms of truth. I am not a body. I am an infinite soul of light and love. Keep saying this. Keep saying this. Go up the vibrational ladder. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> but there's more to this story, okay? So the next part of this story is I, it's time now and I leave the tree and I walk to the pathway and I made these, these mediocre videos at like the end of January um, to try and talk about the energy shifts and I was feeling sort of bumbly still from that full moon energy in January. Well, anyway, I in that full moon bumbly energy where I was feeling kind of the dip of the low energy, it was just like, I gotta do better than this. I am a spiritual healer and the, the constructs of time are not going to work and I need to be an instantaneous miracle healer. How do I ascend? How do I transition from constructs of time healer versus infinite healer, infinite time healer, eternal time? There is no time healer, instantaneous healing. How do I keep raising my vibration and aligning with something far more powerful than this? And so, and after sitting by the tree, I had learned something about love, which I already knew this stuff, but not on this level because I couldn't feel it quite like this before. And so this is what I learned. I'm going to try and repeat it for you as best as I can. Okay, so it was, in order to become a better healer, I have to... I have to love myself that much more. And by and but then in order to become a better healer, I have to love others that much more. And when I love others that much more, I'm also loving myself that much more. So in order to become a better healer, I need to continue to love myself that much more. For instance, berries and nuts as my diet and lots and lots of water <laughs> versus chocolate donuts, McDonald's and coffee. <laughs> so, love myself and so that's part of it, obviously. I've always known that, but now I'm learning it on a whole new level. And and so then also, it is love others that much harder. How much harder can we keep loving each other? We can always love each other that much harder. We can always start surrounding all of Walmart with our energy fields. The entire Walmart parking lot. Imagine the, the love from your heart is a super orb that is a big massive infinite bubble surrounding all of the cars and all of Walmart and then just giving it a super big hug. And all of your love is the fingerlings that is touching everything and is filling everybody's heart with love. And so I was learning this as I was walking back to my car I was learning that in order to become a better healer, I must love myself that much more. In order to become a better healer, I must love others that much more. And, and when I love others that much more, I am also loving myself that much more. Because we're all connected in oneness. I'm a reflection of you, a reflection of me, a reflection of the animals, a reflection of the, the jungle, a reflection of alien beings, a reflection of the spirit. We're all intertwined. We're all connected. We're all the super electrical with the fingerlings that is touching all things. We're all blending in oneness. So when my heart is happy, I can make your heart happy too. How can I make my heart that much happier? I have to keep raising my spiritual vibration. And so there's more to this story. <laughs> Okay, so I'm back to my car now and I am ready to give this all a whirl. I'm ready to, to, to continue to expand my heart portal and touch everybody. So I'm driving down the road. Every car I drive past, I choose to, to, I don't have to know what they look like. I don't have to know how many people are in the vehicle. I instantly visualize hearts that are receiving love and now growing and glowing with red loving energy. Every person I saw walking down the street, which most people walking down the main streets, are usually people who can't drive, people who are kind of less fortunate, and people who, who look a little bit, you know, groggier. I don't judge because we're all, that person is a part of me, a part of you, a part of us all. The entire structure of society is a part of us all. We're part of the heartbeat of everything. And so we need to just love every single person without saying, whoa, weirdo actually say, I love you and I'm so glad that you're a part of this earth because this earth would not be what it is without you. 
I want your heart to feel the warmth and love of all. And so, and then I imagine their heart glowing and growing with the glow of love. And so every time I just kept going down the street and there's more love, more love. And I just kept fingerling touching everything, all the cars and all the people. And even, you know, Pizza Hut and Quick Trip and then everything. I just kept just touching everything with love. And it made me feel awesome inside. This was not exhausting. This was not a trying task. This was not difficult. All I had to do was just love. That's all I had to do. Visualize red heart, red heart glowing. It's filling with love. More hearts with love. More hearts with love. You see? You see? I am not a body. I am an infinite soul of love and light. <laughs> I do not fit into the constructs of the illusionary world. I am an infinite soul of love and light. I have fingerlings. I can touch a billion people at one time. We all have the power to touch a billion, eight billion people, an entire planet, and all the stars in the universe in a single simultaneous moment because there is no time and there is no distance. We are all intertwined. We are all connected through the power of love. And that's it. That's my story. <laughs> all right. That's all I'm going to tell you. I have a feeling this this story is going to be really helpful to a lot of people. It helps you fit into the positive vibes. It helps you to align with the connectedness. It helps you to see your potential. It helps you to step into love. It helps you to feel love within your heart. It helps you to, to, dis, to discover the realm beyond the realm of illusions. The realm of illusions wants you to feel this big. The realm beyond illusions, I am no body, I, I do not have a body, I am an infinite soul. That realm is so infinite, it doesn't have a boundary, it doesn't have an end to it, it doesn't even have a beginning to it. It has no beginning and no end, what is it? It's infinite, it has no beginning and no end. Illusionary world, here's the beginning and here's the end and here's your head, <laughs> like that. That's the illusionary world, it wants to do that to you. Infinite world is love, and love has no beginning and no end. Infinite world is fingerlings by the trillions, 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 and trillions, and trillions, and forever. There is no number to define it. And just so you know, I discovered that the biggest number known to man is called a Google. <laughs> now I know what Google means. I was pretty excited to find that out. <laughs> so anyway, let's all be Googles. <laughs> let's all be super. Let's all go beyond the Google into the infinite. <laughs> okay, so thank you. Thank you for watching my video. And if you would like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I would love to help you um, through psychic wisdom or spiritual healing. Please visit my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Thank you for watching and thank you for supporting my channel.